Hey YouTube, today we're doing a quick comparison between the Luger P08 and its replacement, the Walther P38. For simplicity's sake, both these two have already been checked and they are unloaded. First I'll be covering the Luger pistol, which was adopted by the German military in 1908. It's a 9mm striker fired semi-automatic pistol. It's a magazine capacity of 8 rounds with a thumb activated magazine release. And has a lever style safety. Very small, non adjustable sights, except for the front, so you can drift this back and forth for windage, but that's pretty much it. Wooden grips. Top ejection. Four inch barrel. Has the ability to accept a uh, shoulder stock. As for the P38, uh, is a nine millimeter. Double action, single action pistol with, like a Luger, an 8 round magazine. It has a lever safety slash decogger. It has larger sights, which are also driftable for windage on both of them. And it ejects to the left. And does not have the ability to accept a shoulder stock. And has a slide release, unlike Luger, which you have to rack the toggle on it manually. Just to show you an example of that. Here to Luger, where... If you run empty, you gotta. I ah, can't do it with the magazine in. You gotta like go manually like that. Sorry for that crappy camera angle. But most of the only similarities these two pistols really have is they're both in 9mm. Both were used by the German army at some point or another. However, this one is much more complicated and expensive to manufacture than the P38. Which the P38, which replaced the Luger, because it was less expensive to make than the Luger. And this served the German army from, well, 1938 until about the mid to late 90s is when they finally phased them all out for the USP pistol series. And I think Walther into production of these in year 2000, believe it or not. Sorry about that, whack the camera a little bit there. So for me personally, I feel the Luger has a little bit better balance and more natural point ability than the P38 does, but that's more subjective and more my hands. And something that all people experience, like some might prefer the more traditional slash 1911-ish grip angle the P38 has over the Luger's. More like what would be kind of like a Glock grip angle. Where it's more raked back. However, I do think the P38 has better sights than the Luger does. Because they are actually fairly large. Let's see if I can get it in camera. Let's 
a little bit better sight picture, I believe, with the uh, P38 than the Luger pistol. <laughs> also, some people say the Luger is not reliable. I think that's more of just a game of tell who you've been playing since the early 20th century, because American 9 millimeters have historically been underloaded compared to European 9 millimeter. They prefer a little bit hotter 9 millimeter, because most the time Lugers are not particularly reliable with the lighter American 9mm stuff. <laughs> At least back then. Now these things are kind of so worn and broken in that even cheap 150 grain range ammo usually makes them work just fine. Like American, I, all I ran through this pretty much has been American Eagle. And it's ran perfectly fine. That was like the cheapest brass range ammo you could really get in a 9mm. <laughs> And the B3, that just, that just shoots pretty much anything I put through it. I think I've only had one malfunction in my Luger once. And I think that was because I might have limp wristed, but I'm not sure. P3 I haven't had any problems with, so I'd say both are fairly good for reliability. Although the P3 is a lot simpler design and a lot easier to take uh, care of malfunction, especially with this large ejection port you got here compared to... The Luger's somewhat more restrictive ejection port. And of course, the P3 also has double strike capability, which the Luger does not have. So if you have a dud round in a Luger, that's all you're going to get. So you have to manually cock it to get it to fire again instead of just pulling the trigger like the P38 does, which you're ready to go as soon as you get a jam. Let's see where it lies, can I tell you guys? You better look at those. Get a little flip over. Oop. I know it's not related to German service, but the Swiss continue to use these after World War II. They stopped making them, I think, in the late 40s, but they still continue to see some use up until, I think, Around the 70s, maybe in the 80s, some of the older Swiss servicers might have still been carrying these around. All theirs are in 30 Luger and made in Switzerland instead of a 9mm. And the P38s and their lineage is still in use today. Supposedly police in South Africa carry the uh, P4, which is sort of a upgraded version of this where it's decocker only it's a slightly shorter barrel and i think some smaller militaries and police forces might still have small numbers of these in inventory using them well, Luger, I don't think anyone uses them anymore, as far as I'm aware, except for maybe some third-worlder types might still have some. But anyway, this is more of just a spur of moment, and, uh, just thank you for sitting through one of my terrible gun videos, and hope you have a nice day.